What's up, everybody? It's the outlaw John Roca here with a reaction, not to a trailer, but to a speech from Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, Marvel Studios released about a minute-long speech here from Thor Love and Thunder, uh, and I'm looking forward to taking a look at this one. This one's only got already got 2 million views on YouTube. You know, we're only days away from Thor Love and Thunder coming out. My screening is next week, so I'm just counting the days till I get into a theater and get a chance to watch this. I'm so looking forward to it and seeing what we're going to get. I'm wondering what we're going to get from this speech. Is it going to be an inspirational speech? Is it going to be a tongue-in-cheek speech? Are we going to get some more footage of Gore the God Butcher? Uh, maybe a little bit more here with Natalie Portman and Jane Foster, what she's got going on. A little more with uh, Tessa, with Valkyrie. What are we going to get here? I'm very, very curious. And are the Guardians of the Galaxy, are we going to get a little bit more of them as well so i have not watched this one i know that uh, james gunn posted a picture of the guardians with thor coming out of the fire i retweeted that last night but i had not watched this one so i'm watching it cold and seeing what i think of it without so further ado uh, let's get into this thing and let's see what we got going on let's go on. get the popcorn up he's gonna do a speech <laughs> <laughs> yes oh, wow what's happening here i'm afraid Oh! Uh, oh no! Anxious. Oh. Yeah. No. My friends. Oh! Times oh, wow. like this, we need to unite and come together. I'm sorry, Meek. It's very <laughs> hard to get around in speech with the <laughs> noise. Oh God, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah! This is my vow. Oh God, she'll die. You see me all. There's that the sword. Seems a bit dangerous. This ends here. And wow. No. Oh. Marvel Studios Thor: Love and Thunder. PG-13. Tickets on sale now. Oh, oh hell. <laughs> That's my favorite visual. Yeah, I don't want to play it again, but I want to go through certain moments here because this is pretty badass. I dug it. Yes, yeah, so we're getting. Okay, so we're getting. Yeah, of course, the eye roll. Uh, from uh, but this is look, here, here getting the lightning and everything like this. But the, where's the eye roll? We see the eye roll there, of course, from Star Lord, who's got the jealousy going on. We don't know who those people are on the right. This shot here, this must be quote unquote Olympus or wherever it is, because that's got to be where Zeus is hanging out, right? That looks pretty awesome and badass for a castle. And who's that coming out of there? Is that Thor coming out of there on that ship of his? Then we see Thor with Jane Foster here, pretty cool stuff. I like it. The uh, explosion. He says, I think I know what's going on here. We see possibly a, a dead god there. Then there's Gore the God Butcher uh, doing his thing as well, looking even more creepy. Love the black kind of tar or blood coming out of his mouth. Jane Foster rolling through this thing, doing some badass work here, taking out some of these people here in Zeus's uh, area. We see Korg doing his thing. We see uh, uh, Star-Lord shooting his uh, blasters there. Valkyrie rolling up in and, and, and take care of business. So the Revengers with some new uh, recruits, are still doing their thing there in uh, Zeus's place. We see the Jane Foster thing we saw already. Thor whipping these guys as well. Korg throwing in the sword. Uh, or was it the hammer? Is it the sword or the hammer? Let's take a look here. Friends. Yeah, it looks like a sword. So, And then this is pretty cool. Valkyrie is fighting Gore the God Butcher in the black and white sequence. She's got the Thunderbolt, Zeus's Thunderbolt. What does this mean? Are they fighting first? Is he going to kill valkyrie and then thor comes in or is thor dead and valkyrie comes in i've seen some people speculating online that thor might die in this movie which is insane to me but hell we've seen so many of the original avengers go by the wayside either death or getting too old aka captain america and so this is going to be interesting to see what happens with thor in this movie i think people will go insane if Thor dies and Jane Foster takes over as Thor for the next movie, I would love it, but you can already hear the people going crazy that Thor died so the woman could take his place. People are going to go crazy, which I think is ridiculous, and I hope it doesn't happen. But this is some great visuals here from Taika Waititi going at it, and Thor does his speech. Now let's pause here because Meek, Meek pauses. What's on the board here that Meek is drawing? Okay, Asgard, Korg, get the popcorn out. He's doing speech. So exactly what Korg said, you're afraid See what's happening here. Uh oh. So this is done for us because of those of us who go frame by frame through these things to find the clues. Friends, it's time. Uh, this we need to uh, be together. There's uh, Asgard there in the bottom corner, the lightning bolt, of course, kind of referencing Zeus's thunderbolts. Then you've got the, uh, uh, the hammer there. Uh, so, okay. So, not too much being revealed here that I can see. Uh, fight together. Maybe that's down there spelled uh, incorrectly. I don't know what that means. Tonight we're together. So anyway, uh, anything more, my friends, it's time like this that we need to 
unite together maybe or fight together. I don't know what that is there. So pretty funny stuff from Meek. And then we go forward and she says, yeah, she says, we're going to die coming out July. And then we see this, the Guardians, and we see Sean Gunn here, uh, who has just, I guess, joined them now with, with everything. So he's part of the adventures here with uh, Nebula there as well. Um, and, of course, Drax looking badass. Uh, Batista seeing him in there. Thor rolling through. And then we see a little bit more of Gore the God Butcher, which is pretty badass. Um, and then we get the line. He d- Don't tell me that doesn't look like something out of a Star Trek film. That looks just like from the hanging onto the tree. It looks like something from a Star Trek film. Kind of crazy to look at that. But then here with the Necrosword and what he's doing, stabbing it, killing a planet, which is pretty badass. We've seen that before. Here's Thor. Is he wearing a Spider-Man shirtless sh- uh, a shirt? That is <laughs> pretty badass. It looks like Spider-Man. I can't tell. It might be him. It might be Iron Man. But it looks like a Spider-Man shirt. What are you all's uh, guesses here? And here's the shot. This is what I retweeted last night with Mantis, Rocket. There's Star-Lord. There's Nebula. There's Groot. There's um, uh, Dave Bautista. There's Sean, uh, uh, Sean Gunn. But where is Gamora? So clearly this is happening before they head on off to find Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Of course, they wouldn't sell that out. But certainly, they. I guess they had to take a detour here and help Thor. How much are they in the movie? I don't know. Um, there we see the Rams and uh, what have you there kind of last uh, kind of, but what is this? What is this? This feels very similar to the planet in Thor Ragnarok with kind of the dirt and the trash there. So I don't know if it's the same planet or not. We shall see. Then we have Thor taking on uh, Gore, the God butcher here, the waving and, and what have you and slamming of uh, the sword and the hammer uh, Stormbreaker there. And then we'd see the 80s stuff, but, th- but I want to get this. This is interesting. Let's play one more time. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> So interesting, right? He's playing. It's not necessarily played Gore the God Butcher as like, I'm going to kill everyone. It's these little moments. So is he going to be more of a maniacal, insane uh, Gore the God Butcher? Or is it going to be a little bit, uh, or is it going to be darker than we think? This is just a moment of levity uh, in the portrayal. So very, very curious to see that. I wonder what I'm going to get in here. This is my, oops, uh, this is my favorite uh section for sure seeing him do the things that he's doing is pretty badass so i love that so great sequences here great stuff uh, uh some a lot of questions a lot of uh, interest on my end to see how these questions are going to be answered when the film actually comes out but if i missed anything let me know i love the speech a lot of humor here but i love that boom score that's pretty awesome it sounds uh, you know like kind of the beginning chords of iron man a little bit from black sabbath i am iron man and then also um, what you think about what you think the story, did it allude to any more of the story elements? What do you think, what'd you catch here as you were watching this one minute of this speech from, uh, from Thor love and thunder? Let me know down in the comments section below, hit a like on this video and share it on your social media as well. And I'll talk to you next time with another reaction video here on the outlaw nation, Thor love and thunder July 8th coming out soon.